How to make your online store in 10 easy steps in 10 minutes using WordPress. WordPress is the internet's most popular content management system, or CMS, and it's used by over 23% of the top 10 million, that's more than one in five, websites, including several household names and brands, and even some famous people too. knows? Maybe someday this will be you. Step 1. Register your domain name and web hosting at HostGator.com. Click Web Hosting. Choose a plan. Choose your term length and sign up now. Register a new domain name or tell them you already own a domain name. Choose the right hosting plan, create a username, and create a security pin. Enter your billing info and choose credit card or PayPal. Uncheck additional services. Then enter a coupon code called Coffee Money and click Validate to activate your one cent hosting trial where you only pay one cent in your first month of web hosting. Pretty cool. Check this box after reading the terms of service and so on. And now we can check out now. You'll then get an email from sales. And if you registered your domain name somewhere other than HostGator.com, you'll need to now do part 1A, connect your pre-registered domain to your new hosting. To do that, just copy down your first name server and your second name server head to your domain registrar like GoDaddy and find your domain, set your name servers, and enter in those two new name servers in custom. Enter both of them incorrectly, click save, and then wait a little while for your domain name to connect to your hosting. If you got your domain name and your hosting from HostGator.com, then you can skip step 1A and continue with step 2 install WordPress. In your sales email, remember your username, copy your password, click your control panel link, and log in. Installing WordPress is easy with HostGator and requires no coding, database, or other tech knowledge whatsoever. Just find the quick install icon Click WordPress, continue, and select the domain name where we'll be installing our new website. Leave this box blank, enter in your email where WordPress will email your new login and password, a title, and so on. Of course, we can change all of this later. Are you ready? If so, click Install Now. Congratulations! You now have your very own copy of WordPress. Copy your password again, 
remember your username, and click this link to log in. Log in. And you're all done with step two. At any time, you can click this home icon to view the front end of your site and click it again to view the back end, also known as your dashboard. Step three, install theme. In your dashboard, hover on appearance and click themes. Click add new. Browse and do a quick search for storefront. Storefront is one of the many free e-commerce themes available on WordPress by doing a quick search right here, and it was built with a savvy beginner in mind. Click install, click activate, click the home icon, and we're done with step three. Step four, install plugins. Install this complete list of free plugins right here, which I'll put for you in the notes of the video down below. To install plugins, back to the dashboard, hover on plugins, click add new, and start with WooCommerce. Click enter, install now, activate, Scroll down and you now have WooCommerce, WordPress's most popular free e-commerce toolkit. Good work. Continuing with plugins, hover on appearance, click storefront, enhance storefront, scroll down and install storefront product sharing. Activate. Continue installing the remaining plugins following the list in the video notes Note that homepage control exists in storefront getting started. And when your plugin list is looking good, install WooCommerce pages too, which will help us in a little bit. Congrats, you're done with step four, and most importantly, you're getting the hang of WordPress. Step five, backend housekeeping, is very easy and will make your life easier. To change your password, hover on users, click your profile, scroll down, and just enter in a new password. You can also change the color scheme in this window and then scroll down and update profile. Next we'll modify our permalinks, hover on settings and click this little link permalinks. Not many people know about this one but it'll make your links simple and Google friendly. Just click on post name and save changes. This is great for search engine optimization. Head to WooCommerce settings to adjust the right currency that we want to accept and find it right here. Save changes. You'll need a PayPal account to accept payments through this online store, which is free and easy to set up at paypal.com. Once you do so, go ahead and head over to your checkout settings click on PayPal and make sure to enter in the email with which you registered for PayPal. Great job, scroll down and save changes. You're all done with part five now, but despite my efforts, we're running out of time here and I have to keep the video under 10 minutes, otherwise it'll upset people on YouTube. So, I hope you'll find the link to part 2 in the video notes below. In the meanwhile, feel free to ask me any questions about this website in the comments below. Thanks for watching, sorry about that whole out of time thing, and I'll see you soon.